Well, today, Joe V is learning how to add some color to your summer garden. Yeah, he's visiting the largest dahlia farm in the United States. Joe's live in Canby with more from their annual dahlia festival. And Joe, we were talking on the set. We're not sure if it's dahlia or dahlia. How are they saying it oh, out there? Okay, well, so glad. You know, I think every year, Heather Shalow, I have to uh, reiterate, it is dahlia. Is that dahlia. correct? Dahlia. Okay, so okay. there all you right. go. I'm glad we could set Sorry this for my mistake. once and for all. I'll be happy to, you know, address this again next year yeah. when we're here uh, for the annual uh, festival. Guys, this is the largest, as you mentioned, dahlia farm in the United States. It's right here in Canby, uh, Swan Island dahlias. Uh, man, and look at this scene that we're at right here. Uh, Heather, you know, it's, it's always an incredible sight. And every time we come out here, I don't know, it just seems like the weather gods uh, smile on us. But I we've know. got some uh, beautiful sights here. Tell me a little bit, first of all, about the variety of different kinds of flowers that you grow here uh, at your farm. So we have about 370 varieties of mm -hmm. dahlias. So they're anywhere from about one inch in diameter up to about 14 inches in diameter. So a lot of variety. Represented here in the fields now, what's new, brand new, and I saw this, and I've been covering, coming out here every year covering this event. You have this brand new kind of showcase garden I think it's such a cool idea. Tell me a little bit about this. So we decided that it would be nice to showcase what people would put in their yards or maybe mm -hmm. the way they would uh, organize their yard. So it's got perennials and shrubs and garden art and rocks. Um, but we went alphabetical. And that's what I love about this because it used to be, you know, you'd have, because there's different kinds of dahlias. So you right. would have them kind of grouped in different, different areas sizes, and that sort of yeah. thing. This way you can walk, you can see the, the vast variety uh, and uh, 370 represented yeah. right here. You can just walk around in here. Yes, the fields are beautiful, but this way you really get to see that variety and kind of walk your way around it, right? Yeah, exactly. Talk to me about the diversity of the dahlia because no dahlias, it seems to me, look the same. There's different types, different varieties. Like, for instance, what kind of, we, the name, be happy, but what's the name, what's the style of this kind of dahlia? So this guy is a collarette, and it's okay. because it's got a collar around it of little petals. Okay, um, but then like, let's say we go over here, these ones look totally you're different. At it, it's a formal decorative, so mm -hmm. they're not perfectly a ball shaped, but it's a formal decorative, meaning it's very formal and perfect. Okay, so what is it that they have in common then? What is it that makes a dahlia a dahlia? Because obviously there's all these different varieties that look totally different. Right. So it's really the, the root that they grow from is a tuber. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of crazy to think Aztec Indians use them as a food source back in hey, I mean, the past. Get eat what you gotta eat, <laughs> yeah. I guess. Okay. So there, there are tubers. And then when do you plant them? So if people are watching this, they're like, man, I would love to get some of these uh, beauties in my garden. Walk me through that process. When does that start? So they're a little unique in that they go in in the springtime. So mm -hmm. we're going to plant about Mother's Day. So the month of May is planting time. And then blooming time is August through frost. Okay. All right. So the annual Dahlia Festival, it gets underway this weekend. It's the next two weekends, right? Yep. Tell us uh, when and where people can come and check you out here. So the next two weekends, it's Saturday, Sunday, Monday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. in Canby. Just mm -hmm. make sure you're not in Portland because we're not on Swan Island anymore. Uh, okay. <laughs> As always, we'll have more information about this at kptv.com. And guys, one thing I always love doing is showcasing the many different unique names and now they're all in one place so 370 you can check wow. out and I can confirm just in case you're wondering uh, Andy's legacy that is not related to Andy Carson what? you can confirm that right it is I know he's yes. a, I know he's a powerful man <laughs> but this is named after a different Andy but I think we're, you know we're going to find some more flowers suitable for the uh, Good Day Oregon family coming up a little bit later in the show back to you <laughs> Oh, sorry to let you down, Andy. I was ready for that one to be the shortest one they had out yeah. there. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> He's wiping yeah. away tears uh -huh. over there.